Greetings everybody, Matty Cropper here. This is day 49 of my 8000 watt Super Lemon Haze fire room. So week 7, been out of town for a couple days, I just got back, checked the plants, they don't need water, I'm going to go ahead and water them tomorrow give them overdrive again. I've only given them overdrive once so far. I, I anticipated taking the strain nine weeks, maybe as long as possibly ten. The plants are starting to cannibalize quite a bit, so I'm thinking maybe this will be closer to nine weeks that I take them out to. Water them tomorrow and feed them. That'll be what, day, day 50? Uh, I'd probably give them one or two more shots of nutrients after that and then flush them for a week. So I'll probably wait till day 56 or so. Probably start flushing on day 56. Maybe wait a few more days. Maybe wait as long as until day 60 before I start flushing them. And try and push them out to 10 weeks if I can. But I'm going to read the plants. And uh, just, you know, see whether or not they're finishing. I'll check the trichomes and stuff like that. Check them a few days ago. They're still mostly all, all uh, clear. Not really any cloudy trichomes even. So definitely have a couple more weeks. Um, but if they do end up finishing up quicker, you know, I'll take them down sooner as long as they have a proper flush. But yeah, so, uh, that's about it. Let's try and get you a couple close-up bud shots. Really good crystal production. Now, this particular pheno, I might have said this in the past, it's not a... It's not a large yielding phenotype, but the quality is off the charts. Absolutely great quality. Great uh, candy lemon smell to it. I have seen other super lemon hazes that are a lot bigger yielders, but as far as the quality goes, I really think that I have the best phenotype for that. I'm excited to see what the final harvest is going to be. Uh, I'd imagine it's going to be over 8 pounds, but I don't think I'll pull 1.5 pounds per light. I don't think I'll get 12, not with this phenotype. Nonetheless, the quality is going to be great. Pretty much all the buds on the plants will be top shelf and totally harvestable because I do have quite a bit of open space between the plants. You can see even the buds down low here are getting great light. And I did a very aggressive lollipop on these plants, so there really won't be any under foliage that is scrapped out. All right, guys, I'll post you with an update next week at day 56. Probably be starting my flush right around then. Might try and take it a little bit longer. I do want to flush for at least one week, though, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, see you next week. Peace.